So, D. Yes? I have a question. Oh, please, goody. Okay, because I kind of need some at spotted underscore menaces wisdom right now. Oh, you know, I got plenty to give. You know, you know how the boy do. Yeah. So, whenever you go to somebody's house and they tell you not to go to a certain room, Mm -hmm. not only that, when you decide to go and uh, have a tour by yourself and, you know, you take your little happy ass where you're not supposed to be and then you see a sign that says, do not enter. Not only that, the sign says positively do not enter. What are you supposed to do? Stay my ass where the hell I am and not do those things. Right, and this wouldn't even be a movie, would it? It's true. Yeah. So, in case if you didn't get that, my kaiju peeps, we're reviewing Annabelle. No, no. Annabelle comes home. Right. So, so you gotta, you gotta say so. So, rewind that. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're, we're reviewing. reviewing Annabelle comes home. Should have stayed her ass away. Well, no, maybe people should learn to read or listen. Play the damn music. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go, let's all go, let's, let's, let's all go to the lobby. Annabelle decides to take a happy ass on home and Annabelle comes home. Actually, no. No, no, no. People were called to take Annabelle's ass home. I mean, like, people were called to handle an exorcism. Mm -hmm. It was they dumbass fault to be like, huh, here's a doll Uh that is used as a conduit for other magical shit. Because she's that bitch. She's that boss bitch. She's apparently that bitch. So here's this doll used for other kinds of magical conduit stuff. Let's take it to our home in suburbia. The only thing separating her and somebody getting really effed up is a display case and a few locks. It's it's a holy display case. A display from case. Church. A but you display have to explain ca- it right because no, 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 this no, no, is no. what I don't need her. to. I don't need to explain okay. it right. Okay. I don't need to explain it right. You want to know why I don't need to explain it right? Why? Because it's a display case. It's an inanimate object in this True. display case. True. So by virtue of it being an inanimate object in a display case, whether it's holy or not, it is a display case and it's going to be. It's going to stay in yeah. said display case until some outside force acts toward opening that bitch up so again it doesn't matter if it's holy or not as long as some motherfucker got the key right so it, they don't I don't, I don't, they don't care if it's holy no so again Annabelle decides to take her happy ass on home and Annabelle comes home which basically turns into the Avengers Endgame of the Conjuring series. Yeah. That's basically what this movie is. Yeah. It ramps everything up to 10. So if you've seen The Nun, if you've seen La, if you if you've seen our reviews for The Nun and La Llorona, which is the two that we've done on this channel, yeah. if you've seen the Conjuring movies, if you've seen the other Annabelle movies. This is like the as you said, the Avengers. This is the Avengers in the game for that whole yeah. series because Annabelle. Actually, I'm gonna stop. say Infinity War. I don't. Okay, you yeah, know what? I'm yeah. gonna say Infinity yeah. War. I'm gonna take back the End Game. I'm gonna say yeah. Infinity War. Yeah, because like Endgame, because I'm pretty sure Endgame they're coming shuts back. everything down. Yeah. Infinity War basically was like, oh, you didn't know. Yeah. That's that's basically what happened. Yeah. Because, okay. So so let's let's get to the story here. So yeah. we we kick off the movie 
with the Warrens, who are finishing up an exorcism, and they are receiving Annabelle into their possession. And they're driving on home. They drive on home. And we get to see them... Like we get to see Annabelle's true power as they as they cross into a cemetery. They their car breaks down in the cemetery. We see Annabelle's true power being a conduit of mag not magical of supernatural energy of yeah. supernatural uh, uh, badass energy badass energy yeah uh, at the cemetery and yes. that's when they decide you know what to my sister's credit let's uh get a hole in this case. It's a holy display case. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a credit because, like, they bless it. And it's like it comes from a church. And everything is, like, making it all good so that Annabelle can't just, like, walk her happy ass on out of there. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, she, she's there. And yeah. apparently they have a kid. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to leave it inside the freaking house. Yeah, I didn't understand that either. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. They probably should have just... Why didn't they have an office? They do Why have don't an they office? have an office? But you mean like a, a satellite office away from the house? Exactly. You know what? Why don't I'm, we I'm have with that? that. Like, like that. This whole movie wouldn't have stopped. This wouldn't have started. But this whole movie definitely wouldn't have started because they have a daughter who is psychically linked. Yes. Psychically linked with uh, with the, the afterlife, the supernatural, yeah. able to see things. Uh, you know. In people's hearts and yada yada, yeah. yada 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 none of that shit's like the most important thing but like she's got this little supernatural abilities and she gets picked on at school and nobody really likes her and you know she's got to deal with that the usual it, you know it's kid not shit. so much that it's just so much of what her parents do. it's what her parents do it's yeah. because of what her they parents didn't do. like what her parents do so yeah. because of that of course because everybody's wondering like oh yeah. are they are they heroes or are they are they frauds yeah who knows and so because of that they treat her as such they treat her as such right so her parents fuck off like they, they, they their whole time in the movie is like oh hey we're the parents we're the warrens we we help the supernatural we do this yada 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 let's leave yeah let us leave yeah and leave our child before her birthday mm -hmm. which is one of the other things that, that that pushes this is before her birthday so she's got a she's got a babysitter and she, she babysitter loves hanging around with with her judy uh this is her name, Judy. Judy, yeah, Judy. Yeah, Judy. Judy, was her name. Judy Warren. Yeah. Uh, she's like, oh, you know, I want to, I want to hang around you, uh, and and you know, make make your make your make your birthday time feel all so fun and fancy free. And her best friend, Daniela. Dan, Yella decides to tag along. Now, did she or did this? she just insert herself? Let's tell this correctly if we're going to introduce this character. She because she doesn't insert herself. She breaks and enters. This bitch breaks and enters. <sighs> That's what's what happens. She breaks and enters and gets herself inside the house, and everybody's like, "Oh, I guess you know it's 1970s, and and you are doing some white shit, and everybody's so happy and fun and fine and fine. Everybody's fine with you just waltzing into a motherfucker's house and all that." Yeah. She Tell me I'm wrong. No, she did that. She just and really and waltzed her happy ass in the back door. Waltzes her ass in there, and she's now inserted to the story, and she's very, very, you know, interested in the arcane for a reason that, that'll be shown in the movie. Was she? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because she, she had a reason for, oh, for being. Right. Yeah, she had a reason. She had a reason for being. Right. Uh, and she's the one who kicks all this shit off this bitch. <sighs> Technically, yes, and then technically, Ain't no, no. technically, no. Wait, hold on, because while mm -mm. they were transporting the doll, as you said mm. in the beginning of the review, mm. Ish went down. Don't so, matter. Don't matter. She went out and sought out supernatural shit. She got supernatural shit. Okay. It opened up all the supernatural shit, and we have a movie. Yes. If she does not go where she need, doesn't need to go with a big right old sign that. that says positively do not open. And she's like, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. Because mm -hmm. positively does it anyway. was in all caps. If you see a freaking sign that says positively, in you don't, you, you follow that sign. Like I'm telling you right now, nobody would run a stop sign if it said positively stop. Probably not. They they because like if you look up, you see stop. You're just like oh, okay. That's just a suggestion. I don't see nobody on the road. I yeah. Just, yeah, I can just do a rolling stop. If that motherfucker says positively stop, you slam it on the brakes. You double check. You, you double check it. You're doing the left, right, left check on the street, and then you're rolling. That's how you're doing it. When it says positively, this bitch. I, 
I, I don't think she learned to properly read. Maybe not. She opens up the door and unleashes all hell. And once that happens, this movie just does not freaking stop. Oh, yeah. You do not get a break. When I said that this is the Avengers of Infinity of the, War? Of the Conjuring series, yeah. this is because, like, yeah, sure. You know, Annabelle's out there and, and causing shit. They decided to throw all the shit. Like, okay. Oh, yeah, she brought her friends. Annabelle brought friends. So Annabelle is mm-hmm. locked in a case in the in a big old basement filled with supernatural stuff. A lot of it is haunted or cursed. Yes. Or used in some kind of ritual. Yeah. And the very second that, that you know, Annabelle is let free... All the stuff that Daniela decides to put her grubby little muff hands on starts to mess with them. Starts to mess with them. Yeah. This 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 movie is basically that scene. If y'all have ever seen the movie Cabin in the Woods, where everybody is monitoring uh, the, the 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 what was it like five or six archetypical uh, teens. teenagers? Yeah. yeah, I think it was and six. It was like six of them. Going down into the basement and it's like whichever somebody, whatever thing somebody picks up and puts on or or rummages through yeah. is what is going to be their undoing. Yeah. Imagine that. Except Daniela touched every damn thing. Yeah. This bi- Ooh. We're going to move on from Daniela because uh, she was not our Usa. favorite. Usa. Yeah. So any movie that can have my big ass... Sink into my seat because I didn't want, because like, okay, I was expecting this movie to be nothing but a bunch of jump scares and it does do some jump scares, yeah. but they are uh, um, contextual. Oh, they they it fit the context you. of the movie. Yeah, it messes with you. It messes with you all. The suspense is what kills you. Yeah. This 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 movie basically said, okay, so we've seen a, a whole bunch of other scary movies. Hell, yes. we've seen our own scary movies. So yes. we know the audience is expecting something to jump out right here. Yeah. Guess what? Shit won't happen. It ain't gonna happen. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Keep it keep anticipating it happening. It ain't yeah. gonna happen. And then you, you expect somebody to walk across the screen right there, like in the background, ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. And now we fucking y'all. Yeah. That's how this movie was for like how for like a two, good two hours, wasn't it? Or an I hour. I don't even know if it got to two hours. Hold on one second. It it's it yeah, it was about uh it wasn't even it was it was barely a uh, hundred minutes. Really? Yeah, it, was a, it was an hour God, and 46 that's minutes. A short, that is really short for a it scary movie. It felt so long. It not did. because like it was dragging. This right. movie did not drag no. at all. This was surprisingly. Well, especially yeah. again, after we've seen The Nun and, and La, La Llorona, Llorona, which yeah, is this all in the same universe. All of it. All of it. Annabelle carried this freaking movie. Yeah, I hated did. seeing that motherfucking yeah. doll. Yeah. I hated that Yo, yeah. yo, first of all, I want to talk about our, our movie going experience. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. If we're in the lower bowl of uh, the theater, you know, that lower set of seating, like, nearest to the, you know, to this big old big screen. Yeah. And you all the way in the back wall with the back wall with the, in the back wall with the There's back wall. There's no reason anybody should We should not hear you speak. Yeah. And you should not be going up and down the motherfucking aisles, running in and out, going, oh my God, it's so scary. That was the only bad thing about this movie that I can think of. Yeah. Like, that was it. Like, that that pulled me out. But but the movie immediately pulled me out. With a lot of teenagers, that's the thing. It was a lot of teenagers there, which (sighs) made the movie going experience not Horrible. as fun but like yeah. even then it still managed to pull us in yeah it did pull us it did. right back in it did. and just make us go wow i love this movie i hate this movie yeah but i love this movie because this is this is doing it perfectly yeah this was this was a master class in keeping my big black ass scared and i was scared like I was not being startled. Oh, I didn't get you weren't the only one. Like I there was, was sunk into my seat. Although we were there with teenagers, there were some grown ass folks in there, and including men. Like it was a date night thing yeah. going on. It's a Thursday. It was still date night. Do you want to know who you heard scream first? It sure was not the women. It was, shit, I was screaming. I screamed on a couple of scenes where I was like, you "Ah!" Are not by yourself. I think it was like one male who actually had like one of those high pitched. Ah! 
That was a male. Damn, you gonna clip my mic? I wasn't trying to clip the mic, but I'm trying to give you a good example <laughs> of how messed up. Jesus, look at that waveform. I know, that. but that yeah. that is true to form. One of the screens, a legit scream I heard yeah, they were, from they were a male some, who was probably 45 years old. There was there was some there was some dudes out there gasping and screaming and going ah. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure and his was wife next to him. Because I was trying not to laugh because I'm pretty sure it wasn't funny, but it was funny because I'm pretty sure his wife sitting next to them was like, what the hell was that? Okay. Okay. So, so we, we, we gushed about this movie. Yeah. Give me, give me one of your bads before we get into the score. What, what do you think the movie could have did a little bit better? Have Daniela not open up shit and go on about her business. <laughs> so you just want this movie to be like, be Annabelle comes home. It's just like an hour and a half of just like the camera showing nothing but Annabelle just like sitting in the corner just like. I know some motherfucker gonna come over and open my case. I know that. Come on. Probably movie, still wouldn't work. Movie, movie need to start. I don't know. I need to start chasing people down. I don't know. That's that's my only bad. Because, like, <laughs> I cared about that. They made me care about the characters. They, aside from fucking Danielle. <laughs> aside from her. I mean... <laughs> Technically, if you want me to be truthful, had that have been my best friend, I would have told Annabelle, you know, well, this is the bitch that opened up the case and touched everything, so you need to come get her like, and leave to... me and the little girl alone because we didn't mess with you. I bitch, I was nothing. baking a cake. I do. I... I was baking a freaking cake and ordering pizza. So if you want to start messing with somebody, mess with the bitch that opened your case. Well, that trick right there opened up your case and touched all the artifacts. Get her and then have a good day and then freak yourself off somewhere yeah like some of the scares were so messed up that i don't think yeah. I, could, I don't think i could ever forgive it like if it was just like a bunch of little girls just like talking in your ear going like yeah i want to play i'd be like okay that's kind of that's kind of messed up yeah. you know i but like i can get through that in my nightmares like no this this movie the scares were so messed up it's like hey i want to make you accept your existential threats uh, yeah. you know the existential thoughts of death and the afterlife and yeah. a whole bunch of other shit of curses and everything. And it threw everything at you. It had like eight or nine different ways that Annabelle was trying to fuck you up Basically, in this movie. Yeah, because and once Daniela she got, unleashed this shit. Yes, yeah, she did. Because once Annabelle got started, she did not. You did not get to. I had three. Three. Back to back treatments, which typically you're supposed to go to the ER because of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, that's how effed up this movie was. Let's just let's just go. Four stars and I'm done. Damn, you just don't want to talk about this no more. Four stars, I'm done. The only bad, Daniela. So so my sister dug her arm, her fingers into my arm at the climax of the movie, and for the first time in my life, I didn't mind because I understood. Yeah. I completely understood. I did not hold it against her because holy frick. This movie ramps it all the way up to the point that, like, you don't really get a single chance to rest. Like, once once Daniela and her dumb ass decides to do some stupid shit the way that she did, the way that she did it was the moment that, like, this movie decides to go off the freaking rails in the best of ways. Yeah. I I told y'all before, like whenever I do these scary movies, I'm a scary bitch. I want to be scared. I'm slumped into my seat every time something suspenseful happens, and it never hits you the way that you expect it to. And because it's so unexpected, it really plays with you. It really messes with your head. Um, yeah. And because of that, like this was this was an almost perfect movie. This was an yeah. almost perfect movie. Like there's like there are some uh, like towards the end, the way that they try to wrap everything up, it's just kind of like, you know, the way that they did La Llorona, the way they did The Nun, the way yeah. they did a f few other Conjuring movies where like there's something a little bit more foreboding and something more, uh, you know, on its way um, that things don't get wrapped up in a neat little bow. I, I like that sort of you know, storytelling where it's yeah. like shit can still go down. Yeah. And then this one is just like, no, nah, everything's fine. Everything's I, happy. I, I, I don't think I so. I go lucky. And I'm just like, I, I didn't like the way that they try to make it and they make it like the most happiest of endings. Like yeah. that's, that didn't really sit right with me. Yeah. Uh, but then again, I'm, I'm a cynic 
cynical so asshole what, like that. So what's your score? I'm giving it a four. A very solid four. Yeah. Go see this movie to get yeah. scared. You Not to get else? jump scared. To you, get actually scared. You know what else will mess you up with this movie? What's that? She also did the shit during the daytime. Oh, yeah. Not nighttime. Daytime. She, when she scary, wanted some of this. She when, wanted some of this shit. When scary movies mess with you even during the day, Yo. I think I'm done. Like, oh, I so y'all I'm scary, done. scary. Y'all scary, scary, huh? Like, usually you have to wait for the lights to, yeah, to pop yeah. off and everything. Yeah. It's like, nah, nope. I'm a fuck with you. Yep, nine in the morning. While you can see started. shadows and shit. Yep. While you could go and like go walk, go walk down the street. I want you to walk down the street, go get yourself nope. a nice little ice cream and come on back. Cause I'll be here waiting for you, bitch. Yep. Or just get up at 6:30 in the morning like you do to get ready for work. And I'll be sitting over here, just sitting yeah. here chilling, rocking in a rocking chair yeah. with my face on, my face beat up to hell. Yeah. Cause I'm Annabelle. Jesus Christmas. God, go yeah. see this. Go see. Go see it with your hubby. Go see it with your baby. Go see it with your platonic no, friends. No, no, take the baby. I'm, I mean, your baby, like, like, uh, like baby, baby, baby. Oh, like, like your ba- I was gonna say you cannot take a baby to go see. Th- Are you crazy? I, th- I think that's it. I think we're done. I think we're done. Cut you out. Holy crap. Bye.